we've got a very esteemed panel for our parenting panel that we're talking about the issues with the generations um, from Filipino Americans of the older generation and the younger generation and how we are able to communicate with each other. I think the most important thing is educating ourselves, not being embarrassed to ask for help, right? So, uh, Dr. Joyce, um, I know that you've got uh, something that's happening. Please tell all our viewers about that. So we're trying to develop programs for Filipino parents, um, mostly children aged 6 to 12, mm -hmm. so we can promote um, how to raise kids in the United States and how to bridge that cultural gap. Yeah, because it is a very unique um, perspective, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. So if there are parents out there who are interested, we do have an email and a phone number that yes, you can and, call. Yes, and that you get to see on your screen. And that's really an outlet for parents to be able to meet other parents and talk about the issues at hand. Kimler, what about you? Um, can people get in touch with you if they do have questions about their identity? What if a parent suspects mm -hmm. that their child uh, may have, sure. you know, uh, sexuality um, issues. How would you suggest that they go about talking to them? It's mm -hmm. like st stepping on eggshells. You don't want to um, want to embarrass them, but at the same time, you want them to know that you're open to this. Sure. I think an interesting phenomenon that we've seen uh, among a Asians, but uh, Filipinos all, uh, included, is that yeah, when we think about coming out, kind of in, a, in an American way, it's like you know you just kind of tell somebody that you know you're, you're gay, and that's kind of just how it's done. But we, we see with uh, with our communities is that it's a much more gradual process. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not just coming out, but rather you know just like changes in behavior over time. I even know of some people that you know never really came out to their parents, but their parents understood, and they understood that their parents understood, okay. and so. There are different ways to go about it, but uh, API Quality LA has a website called QA Spaces where parents could go and see what, what journeys that various uh, API youth have right. gone through in, t in sharing their sexuality with their parents. Okay, maraming salamat, Kimler, Dr. Joyce, Miss Anna, and Edna. That was our first ever parenting panel here for Mommy Mondays. We're going to do this again. There's so much to talk about, but at this time, let's get to talk to Edna and Anna for The Sweet Life with Magnolia. Time now for our weekly segment called The Sweet Life, brought to you by our friends at Magnolia Ice Cream. Joining me today is Anna Jaime from Search to Involve Filipino Americans. At kasama rin natin si Tita Edna Reyes of the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles in the Child Development Center um, Division. So, I want to ask you a question about working with children because you work with children all the time. Share with us while you taste some delicious uh, magnolia ice cream, one of the sweetest moments about being able to work with children. The thing at CIPA is we're all about uh, youth, family, and community. Mm -hmm. So, I think that the one of the sweetest moments is really when you see that family come together. And since this is a show on parenting, you know, you should not underestimate the power of a parent. Yeah. And how big you are in your child's lives. Aww. And what, when you walk in, their eyes will light up. So uh -huh. have that engagement. So you can have that eyes light up yes. more. Yes. Okay, please. Yes. Do enjoy your Magnolia ice cream. Tita Edna, ikaw naman. Sweet, sweet moment mm -hmm. in uh, working with children. Yes, every day. Every day is a sweet moment. Aww. They'll come to you and hug you and say, I love you. Oh, how endearing. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat, and that's Edna. the sweetest of all. Okay, kamusta <laughs> ice cream? Very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Masarap. Salamat po, Edna. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. And thanks so much for being here for Mommy Mondays and sharing your thoughts on our parenting panel. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagnood nyo ng kababayan today. Remember, you can find all these wonderful flavors of Magnolia ice cream at your local Filipino supermarket. Maraming salamat and we'll see you all again this week here on Kababayan Today.